Hi all. This is the first class of module 2 manufacturing process. Module 2 discussing about welding process. So what is the definition of a welding process? Welding is the process of permanent joining of similar or dissimilar metals by the application of heat with or without the application of pressure and addition of filler material. So that's the definition of the welding process. So welding is a process of permanent joining of similar or dissimilar material. So by the application of heat or without the application of with or without the application of pressure and addition of filler material. Okay. So classification of welding process. According to the composition of the joint, welding process are initially classified into three types. First one, autogenous joining. Second one, homogeneous joining. Third one, heterogeneous joining process. So this classification is based upon the composition of the joint. So based on the composition of the joint, welding process are classified into autogenous joining, homogeneous joining and heterogeneous joining. In autogenous joining, no filler material is used. All types of sold phase welding process and resistance welding process are comes under this category. So in an autogenous process, there is no additional material will be using in the welding process. That means no filler material will be used. For example, uh, resistance welding process, sold state welding process are comes under the category. In homogeneous welding process, filler material are used. So filler material are using means an additional material that is added to the weld pool in order to increase the strength of the weld pool is known as weld material is known as filler material. So in homogeneous welding, filler material is used. The composition of the filler material is similar to that of parent material. That's an important point. In homogeneous welding process, the composition of the filler material is similar to that of parent material. Example is arc welding, gas welding, thermic welding, etc. So in heterogeneous joining process, filler material is used, but the composition of the filler material is different than that of parent material. Example is sold, trim and bracing. So these are three classification of based upon welding process based upon composition of the joint. So once more, according to the composition of the joint, Welding is classified into autogenous joining, homogeneous joining and heterogeneous joining. In autogenous joining, no filler material is used. So what do you mean by filler material? Actually filler material are the additional material that is added to the molten weld pool in order to increase the strength of the welded joint. So in homogeneous joining process, the filler material have the same composition as parent material. In heterogeneous joining process, filler material have different composition as parent material. So that's the difference between autogenous, homogeneous and heterogeneous joining process. So next one, types of welding process. There are three types of welding process. Sold state welding, liquid state welding, sold liquid state bonding process. So we can discuss one by one. Sold state welding process. See, in sold state welding process, the material remains sold state and the welding is achieved through the application of heat and pressure or pressure only. That's the important point. See, in a sold state welding process, the material remains sold state. It does not get melted. It remains sold state. And welding is achieved through the application of heat and pressure or high pressure only. See, in a solid state welding process, joining takes place without the fusion at the interface. No liquid or molten phase is present at the joint. See, during the solid state welding process, initially the metal pieces will be cleaned to remove the oxide film residue and after that, the metal piece will be held together under pressure. Example of sold state welding process are friction welding, 
forge welding explosive welding explosion welding etc second classification is liquid state welding process liquid state welding process it is also known as fusion welding process see in liquid state welding process or fusion welding process the base material is heated to melt in fusion welding process fusion is taking place at the interface a molten or liquid phase will be present at the interface of the joint the heat required to melt the base metal is provided by electric arc or laser beam etc example of liquid state welding process are oxy acetylene welding hydrogen welding laser welding etc so in liquid state welding process a liquid state or molten phase is present at the interface of the metal piece to be joined it is also known as fusion welding process in third classification is the solid liquid state bonding process in solid li liquid state bonding process filler material get melted base material not get melted and the liquid filler material flow into the joint by capillary action example of liquid solid state bonding process are soldering and brazing so what is the uh, difference between a soldering and bracing process is in soldering the filter material melt below 450 degrees celsius in bracing process filler material melt above 450 degrees celsius so these are the three classification of the welding process once more we have solid state welding process liquid state welding process and solid liquid state bonding process in solid state welding process the base material is not get melted in liquid state welding process it is also known as fusion welding process in liquid state welding process the base material get melted there is a fusion take place at the interface liquid state or molten phase is present at the interface of the material to be get jointed solid liquid state bonding process that's the third classification solid liquid state bonding process filler material get melted base material not get melted and the liquid filler material flow into the joint by capillary action so these are the three classification of welding process very important classification solid state welding process liquid state welding process solid liquid state bonding process Then is a process of joining two pieces of metals together to form a one piece by heating the metal to their melting point. Welding is a process of joining two pieces of metal together to make or to form one piece by heating the metal to their melting point. Additional metal that is called filler metal are added to the molten weld pool, weld pool in order to increase the strength of the bond. See, in all welding process, generally consists a welding machine. What's the purpose of the welding machine? Is welding machine that will create the heat required for welding process and supply filler material. That is the importance of welding machine in a welding process, which will supply heat required for the welding process and also uh, supply the filler material there are three parts for a welding process welding arc filler material and shielding gas that's very important welding arc filler material and the shielding gas see welding arc actually welding arc is an electrical arc that is created between the welding machine and uh, metal to be jointed see welding arc is used to melt the metal being jointed See the welding arc have a temperature up to 6500 degree Fahrenheit. So that's the importance of welding arc. So welding arc means welding arc is an electrical arc that is created between the welding machine and the metal piece to be jointed. Welding arc is used to melt the metal being jointed. A welding arc have a temperature of 6500 degree Fahrenheit. Next important part in a welding process is filler material. Filler material 
or additional material that is added to molten weld board in order to increase the metallurgical strength of the welded joint. Filter material are two types. Welding wire and sticky letters. See, welding wire are classified in two types that is bare wire and flux code wire. That is, flux code wire is also known as tubular wire. Stick electrodes are metal rods specially designed for welding process. And third part of the welding process is shielding gas. Shielding gas protects the molten weld board from surrounding atmosphere and air contaminant that will cause weaken the welding joint. That will weaken the welding joint. See, shielding gas cover the area where filler material melt and the weld can set up. Shielding gas is delivered to the welding area in two methods. One will a separate gas cylinder will be using which is attached to the welding machine which will supply shielding gas to be near the welding area. And second method is a special chemical is coated over the filler material. That filler material is known as flux, flux coated filler material or flux code wire etc. So a special chemical that is coated the filler material and that will undergo chemical reaction during welding process that will melt and release as a gas that protect the weld. So that is the purpose of a shielding gas in a welding process. Shielding gas that will protect the molten weld pool from surrounding atmosphere, prevent uh, absorbing contaminants and uh, gases from atmosphere that will weaken the welded joint. So there are three main parts of a welding process that is first one welding arc, second one filler material, third one shielding gas. Welding arc which is used to create the heat for melting the mold base material. Filler material that are additional material that is adding to molten weld pool in order to increase the metallurgical strength of the welded joint. Shielding gas that protect the weld pool from surrounding atmosphere. Okay. So next one is classification of welding process. So there is a wide classification of welding process. First one, gas welding process. In gas welding process, there are three types of welding process. Oxyacetylene welding, OFW, air acetylene welding, oxyhydrogen welding, pressure gas welding. Arc welding process. Carbon arc welding, plasma arc welding, EAW, submerged arc welding, SAW, metal arc welding, MAW, electro slag welding, ESW, flux code arc welding, FCAW, gas metal arc welding, GMAW, gas tension arc welding, GTAW, automatic hydrogen arc welding, shielded metal arc welding, SMAW, electro gas welding, EGW, so these are the classification of arc welding process. Next one is resistance welding process. Flash butt welding, FW, projection welding, RPW, sport welding, RSW, percussion welding, PEW, resistance seam welding, RCW, stead welding, SW, high frequency resistance welding, HFRW. Fourth classification is Sold state welding process. Friction welding, FRW, expressive welding, EXW, ultrasonic welding, USW, diffusion welding, DFW, forge welding, FOW, cold pressure welding, CW. And last classification is radiant energy welding, electron beam welding, EBW, laser beam welding, LBW. So these are the wide classification of welding process. Okay. So what are the advantages of a welding process? So it produces a permanent joint. Overall cost of welding equipment is low. Large number of metal can be welded. Welding operation can be mechanized. Welding operation is economical when compared to other joining process. High corrosion resistance compared to bolting and riveting. Portable welding equipment are available. So these are the advantage of general welding process. And what are the disadvantages of welding process?
welding operation distort the workpiece skilled worker is must to provide a good weld welder joints require heat treatment edge preparation is necessary so these are the four disadvantages of uh, general uh, welding process okay so we, we can wind up the section in this section we uh, discussed about definition of welding process classification of welding process based upon the composition of welded joint and types of welding process solid state welding liquid state welding solid liquid state welding process then uh, what is what is a welding process and what are the three parts of welding process then classification of welding process advantage and disadvantage of welding process so next class onwards we can discuss uh, one by one each welding process okay thank you